Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We got our first fish of the day, and it's a big old slab perch right here in the area I unloaded the boat. We've been going way up the lake. We decided we were going to fish right here today. Let's see how many we can catch. Get all our cameras rolling. Glad y'all could be with me on another episode of Loving Life with the old fisherman. We're gonna have to stay up this way today and save a little gas, just fish. See if we can catch any perch up this way. I thought we can catch them up this way. Just got to fish for them. Catch them. It's time of the year they start running shad. They lay on the bottom of the shad, comes above them, they run up and get them. That's why this Charlie Brewer is so deadly this time of year. You gotta stir them up, get on a bunch of them though. They, they're more scattered in this area, but I think they're a little bit bigger size. There he goes, see that? That's what it takes folks, circling this boat in a circle swing and catching these perch. Look at that, nice perch too. They ain't no babies. Ow, woo, he has stuck me twice. Hey, got to love that. They're medium size. They ain't no whopper whoppers, jumbos, but they big enough. We use a three inch Charlie Brew at the top. I, I don't even know the color, it's just the color I found. It's got some purple and, and grays in it. And we're using a uh, blue and chartreuse, two and a eighth inch swim miner Charlie Brewer at the bottom. All I'm doing is circle swinging this boat and catching these fish. We're fishing right now in 44 foot of water. It's pretty deep. You gotta get it to the bottom and reel it up slow. We moved to where the water's a little bit more colored. We use a Charlie Brewer three inch green and then an inch and a half Charlie Brewer at the bottom. Scuffinine, muscadine, excuse me. And uh, we're gonna see if we can draw some fish in here. They were in here yesterday and the day before, but they might not be here today. You never know with these fish. See if we can stir them up, get them biting. One looking at it, they're running up to it, there he is. They're laying on the bottom out there sleeping is what they're doing. Probably stripers. Then they come up and hit it. No, it's big perch. Look at that, what a perch. Oh my goodness. That's what we want right there, folks. Look at that. Jumbo magnet. Drop it back down. 36 foot of water. Did not see them until I started pulling it up. You see it going down right there. Them joes laying right flat on that bottom. And until they stir up, you will not see them. You stir them up, then you start seeing them. There you go, he hit it. They down there. We gonna catch them, folks. We gonna catch them. Right here. They stir up better in this dingy water. See that? They bite better in this dingy water. That's a good one. That's probably a striper. I don't know. We got a lighter rod this morning. We got a six foot rod, St. Croix, and we got two jumbo magnums, or one jumbo magnum and one smaller. Look at that, what a big old perch. He hit that big old green jig. Huh? He hit the big old green jig. We might be done coming to the right place now, folks. There he goes. There he goes. We're gonna zero in on these perch today, hopefully. And they look like they're pretty good size. Oh God, speak of the devil. The devil just showed up, called rockfish. 
Holy bunk. I bit the tail off my green jig already. I swung it to goodness. Man, you got to hate that. I got a different green jig. I'm going to try it. Greenwood with specks in it. Let's see if they'll take that one. They might kill it and might not touch it. Who knows? You got to try. Them darn rockfish will show up no matter what. They down there though, I see them all over the bottom. Them look like perch to me. Right there. There he goes. They kill him. I believe that's perch. Nice perch too. That's what we want right there, folks. Only that a little bit bigger. Drop it down. You see right there on the bottom, you got some fish. Right on the bottom. Oh Lord, you can't see. Wasn't going. Right on the bottom, we got some fish. I don't know why it wasn't going. But anyhow, you see it dropping down. See them coming up at it right there. Lord, didn't take it. Went right through and didn't take it. That ain't good. That is not good. Put an angle on it. They all over it though at the bottom. Oh man, it didn't take it that time either. They're getting used to me already. Hope not. They might not like that green jig I put on there. Oh, they ain't taking it now. We might have dabbed over us a couple of live minutes. I can see that happening. Cause it's first time to... Hey, he bumped it, he gotta take it. They all down there, they just ain't biting every time. I put a dark green jig on, they don't like that. They're hitting at it, but they ain't taking it. We might have to go with that gup alive metal. That's what we might have to do. There he goes. Reached up and got it. Ain't a big one, though. There's perch I'm seeing down there. Stir them back up. They all over that bottom day and hit it. We gonna have to put a couple of men out there, y'all. What it looks like. They here, they just ain't hitting. There you now let's stir them up, we can catch them. That's probably a rock fish. I think it's a big put rock fish. That turned burnt orange. Put it right there. There he goes. I bet it's striper. I bet you it's striper. I seen him coming in. Yep, what it is. It perches on the bottom, they don't want to hit. Them stripers will hit when they come in. The problem is, then all you're going to catch is stripers. Drop it back down. Them perch was in there now, the stripers has come in there aggravating me. Loads up. I think we're going to put out that one inch gulp alive to catch them perch at the bottom. Them stripers are swarming on my jigs right now. Yeah. 
back now. Even the strappers don't act like they want it. They ain't really feeding on what I got here today. Yeah, let it sit at the bottom and ease it up. Maybe, maybe we'll catch a perch. That, 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 that's a perch. That's a good one. I'll tell you that much. I believe it's a perch. I believe it's a big old perch. Two of them. I went slower. Well, striper in a perch. Striper got off. I caught him under the chin. He didn't want it. He snag hooked it. Bad luck perch is what that is. Run back now. I'm gonna have to go cut bait. I can put cut baits on them heads too. There you go. Oh, Lord, missed him. They all in the... I'm not lying, they all in the... They have to... They, they ain't really eating it. Bumping at it. They don't want what I got on. And these perch all in the state. I think they want it slow on the bottom. If you go fast, they'll run out there and take it. I think that's probably a striper. Yep. Turn the striper. Put a couple of men on there to see if I can find my rod. <sighs> Just to see. That might be the ticket. Catching perks. Get jaws up, my little use them. I got these things here on a bigger hook than what I've, what I've been using for the crappers. This is a uh, 30 second head with the collar cut off. You don't want no collar if you're gonna use a one inch guppola. It tears it apart. A little bit longer. Let's see if that there will catch them. I believe it will. I believe it'll purchase take this thing. That's what I think. Them doggone stripers is all up high. We're trying to get through the stripers to the bottom and try to catch us a doggone perch on the guppa lie. What I'm doing right there's already got one hitting it. There he goes. I guarantee it's, I bet you, oh, I believe that's a striper. If it ain't, it's a big perch. Oh, it's a big perch. That's what we're looking for right there, folks. A couple live minnow will catch them bigger perch. That's what's gonna happen. 
today. You watch what I tell you. Use this Saint Croix, six foot nine inch rod, light action, with a gup of live metal. And we're gonna get it underneath them rockfish, right on the bottom, with them big perch ass that don't want to bite nothing. We ain't got no regular metal, so we're gonna use the regular gup of live metal. Ease it up, one bumps it. There he goes, see that? That's what we're gonna do. Catch these perch. Cut bait will work also. I guarantee it will. Drop, drop, drop it back down. There he goes. They're killing it, folks. The gup alive. Mena. That's a good one right there. Oh, my. That's got to be a striper, though. I don't know this lemon rod. I'll tell you in a minute. Pull like a striper, but it could be big perch. Oh, it's big perch. Two of them. Look at that. Look at that. Big perch. I mean, super dog. That is a super dog magnum all day, every day. The kind we read about in Perch Magazine. They want this doggone gup alive. Is what they want, one inch. See, I adapt it to catch these perch. I do it all the time. All right, let's get it back out. I think we got the right answer now. Up alive. Catching bigger perch that ain't biting that other stuff. Holding it on the bottom and let them take it. There he goes. Got it. Got it. Ain't as big as the last one though. A little one. Little one, throwing him back. A little, little. There he goes. Boy, he nailed it. That's a, I don't know what that is. I can tell you this. That's a flathead catfish that sure as the world. Boy, he is taking line. Hey, day. This is what I didn't want. He just, he's just heading off from me. This is going to take a while. I bet you it's flathead. See how he's got it right in the water? I can't. Lord have mercy. It's a big old catfish on a little tiny gup of live metal. I don't know if I got time to catch this fish. Man, he, I guarantee you, he don't run all them perch away. He's in there feeding on perch. I can't hold this fish. We got to, we got to loosen up on something. This big fish, yeah. That ain't no baby right there, folks. We got him on a tiny ride. We'll never get him. He's going the other way. Might take, might take all my line. I ain't have a little. We're gonna have to follow this one. We're gonna have to pull off and follow this one. I ain't got but a couple more rounds of braid on his rod. We're gonna have to follow him. God only knows how long it's gonna take to catch this one. This ain't no baby. He don't even know he's hooked yet. 
I hate to move my spot, but I ain't got no choice. I ain't had a lot of line on there. I got it tied together with floral carbon underneath. That is a big catfish right there, folks. It ain't likely we're gonna catch this one. He gonna wear me out is what he gonna do. He gonna wear me out. Oh my. Golly bum. Look at that long, long jerk. Now, why do you reckon he wanted to hit that little tiny guff alive, huh? Why? Don't make sense. But it is. I, I caught a big flathead last year about this time of the year. I believe that's a flathead. What I believe. On a guff alive minnow, too. Yo. I can tell you one thing. That net is bigger than 10 pounds. I mean, he's just swimming around. I ain't doing nothing with it. This is gonna take 30 minutes, huh? We were just fixing to catch some big perch, too. I kinda wish he went a bit, but he did. Now I got to deal with it, and I can tell you this, the net I got ain't big enough for this fish. I don't know how we're gonna get this net. The only way possible to catch this fish is to take our time. Well, he's just swimming around there on the bottom. That's all he's doing. He's swimming on the bottom, all right. I ain't getting no gain. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. What? Look at that drag. He about to take all that line again. You see it? Oh, my gosh. He's gone, buddy. I'm telling you, he's gone. This is the time of year you catch big old catfish on because they down there feeding on all these doggone shad and stuff also. And perch. And we done hooked on a monster. My hand's tired as the devil. I swear. I don't know how big he is, but I can tell you this, he is no baby. We got six pound test line on this thing. Six. Six pound, I got eight pound floor uh, braid, but then it goes down to the swivel in two lines, six. I caught one monosol at 50 pound on six, but it took me a long time. This might be right up the same alley. I mean, he's just holding to the bottom. I can't pull him off the bottom. Oh my God. Hopefully I got him hooked right in the lip. That is a big one. Oh, see that long stroke when he wiggles his head? Hey, day. Boy, this is going to take a while. We're gaining a little bit. One reason I'm gaining is because I'm following him with trolling motor. If I wouldn't have followed him with trolling motor, he'd had all my line gone by now. Look at that rod. If you think for one moment that that joker ain't big, you wrong. That one I caught the other day, about six, eight pounds, ain't no comparison to this. This one here's just swimming around like he ain't even hooked. If you notice, I ain't gaining, he's just swimming. I ain't gaining. I can't hardly pull him up, look at him. All you can do is try to force him. You don't want to force him too much, or he'll break it. And get him up to the top. I ain't got the net in position yet. I don't think I need it yet, but I ain't got it in position yet. I can tell you that. This is a monster here. Mad going the other way now. 
tired of being held back. He'll probably get off. I've had them hooked like this before to get off. And I've caught them too. It's got to take time. And pray all your knots is good. You gotta wear him down, for sure. He ain't nowhere close to being wore down yet. I can't gain on him now, see, I got pressure. He's just swimming. Ah, Leba. Hands are tired, y'all. I got carpal tunnel bad anyhow. This is like I'm just hooked to a car. And he's swimming around or driving around. I can't get him pulled up. I want to see him. This net, the net I got in this boat will not catch this fish. I, I got some grabbers. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this fish in this net. I don't think. Ain't no way. I got a big net, but I took it out of the boat because it gets in the way. But now, I wish I had it. I wish I had it, folks. I like to see this fish, how big he really is. I ain't even seen bubbles yet. Uh-oh, he done got around something. Uh-oh. He done got around something, y'all. We ain't gonna catch him now. He done got around a limb or something down there. I don't want him to get around. He gonna break. He done got around, finally got around a tree or something. I didn't think of nothing out here, but it's something out here. We ain't gonna get him. Not unless it, I don't, I think it's probably done broke. Yeah, blame it. Oh yeah, he's around something. He done broke. He done got around something. We ain't gonna get him. All that time wasted. We ain't gonna see him. He got around a darn limb. He's around a limb. Oh, he's still on there, though. He might have come loose. He's still on there. Yeah, he come, he come loose. Still got a chance. Nah, he's around that limb. He gonna break that thing. He's just that freaking heavy. I don't know if he's around a limb or not. He's just that big. That is a huge, huge fish. He's just that big. If he ain't around something, he's just that big. That was a big fish right there, so. Ain't no way that fish going in this net. I thought I was around something, but I'm thinking that wasn't that round nothing. It's just the fish is that heavy. He just wasn't jerking. This fish here is liable to be a bigger than what I, I don't know. I can't, every time I speculate, it comes up little. I'm not gonna speculate, but I can tell you, this is no baby, no means. I can't believe that this line is held on. Six pound test, I can't. So I thought he was around a brush and he wasn't. He was just laying there. He was just laying there. Hey. Day. Unbelievable. And what this is. Oh my God. He done got mad now. He gone. 
He's realized now he's hooked. <laughs> we might have to go to the bank and drag this one on the bank. Oh, I'm going to get him. I got some grippers, but me getting over the edge of this boat grip this fish, shoot. I don't see him getting in no net. This is a monster. This will be a 50 pound fish. Man, my hands are tired. I want to catch him or break off or something. Give me some relief. Jesus. That rod, you think that's St. Croix? It's one of them broke this rod. I can tell you that. Light action. St. Croix. I just want to see this sucker. I'm most likely going to turn him loose anyhow. <laughs> he done spent half the morning trying to catch him. Okay, day. I ain't seen how to have that sucker yet. Not how to hair. And this fish too big to put your hand in his mouth. I got some gloves though. I can get to him. Huh? Where am I gonna get to him? We gonna be here a while. This ain't no baby, folks. This is a late Murray monster. Lord have mercy. He gonna break this rod. High in the world, a six pound test, holding on to this monster. I do not know. This flathead, I can guarantee you on that. There ain't no way it's nothing else. He's just heading the other way now. Ah, leave him, he's going the other way again. Day. I can't get I can't do nothing with this fish. <clears throat> this fish of a lifetime right here. He breaks that rod, then I ain't got a chance. I am not gaining. He just sitting there swimming around. He will not, not let me bring him up. Oh my God. Gone again. Gone again. Gone again. This one fish, I wish I wouldn't have hooked. I'll just be honest with you. I wish I wouldn't have hooked him. He done took all my morning. We ain't even, we ain't even close to landing. We ain't close. Got to get him swimming up. Get him up. We might got him more down, I think. We might fix to see him. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, what a fish. Folks, look at that. Looks like a... How am I going to get that in the boat? Look at that. Huh? Y'all see him? Look at that. 
Oh my God. Big flathead. He's at least 50, 75 pounds. There ain't no way he going in this boat. In this net. There ain't no way that that fish going in this net. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Not in this world. That fish is big around. Oh my God. That is one huge fish. <laughs> you got no place to put it. Oh my God. If I get him in, now he's gone back down again. We're going to get gloves on and try to get his hands on him. Only thing I know to do. Well, we got a side of him. Look at that thing. You talking about big. He, done, he, he was around something because my other lines broke off. It had caught something is what happened. The other lines, there ain't no way he's going in this net. I ain't gonna do nothing but make him mad trying to get him in this net. Oh my God. He don't like the looks of that. I got a dilemma. I don't know how to get it. Oh my God, what a fish. I believe this fish is close to 100 pounds. This got to be some kind of world's record on six pound test line. If I can get him in. I don't even think my big net would be big enough for this fish. How am I gonna get this fish in? I don't know. Look at that thing. Unbelievable. Is what this is. This is something here. I'm gonna have to get my grabbers to get him. I'm gonna have to, this net ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna have to get my grabbers to get it. The only chance I got in the heck to get him is hunt my grabbers. <sighs> only chance. I'm out. I am more out. You can't grab the line at six pound test, y'all. He ain't gonna let me get him in the net. And the line is down his mouth. <clears throat> Every time I try to get over here where 
Before I can get him up, he goes back down. I got him. Oh my God, I got him. God, a mother, what a fish. What? We landed. I don't know freaking how, but Lord have mercy. Look at here. Look in there, that little G. Oh my God. Huh? Old fish, old fishermen will slam out folks. He wore out and I'm wore out. I don't know what that fish was. Oh my God. Oh my God. He is near that way. We got him. I don't know how. But we actually landed the Lake Murray Monster. We actually mounted, landed the Lake Murray Monster. I got to turn this camera around. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a fish. That's the biggest catfish I've ever caught. By far. Oh my God. That had to take an hour. My camera, my, my batteries is about dead. I'm gonna try to hold him up. God, no. Look, look what a fish. Huh? Look what a fish. Look what a fish, man.